Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for a whole new segment called Final Thoughts, which was really prompted by a bunch of people in the comment section. I think I have three or four people say, hey, you need to go check out Bonham West. Do another video on Bonham West, because I did an original Kickstarter critique on Bonham West on July 14th, and apparently they watched the video, they took it to heart, and they made some, some changes to the Kickstarter. So people said, you need to check it out, so I'm going to do that. This is a new Weird Wild segment, so if you enjoy this kind of stuff, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below, and let me know, am I jumping the shark right now? But here's the thing, if I was on a Kickstarter critique, and I saw three or four people People saying that the creator should do something and be like maybe you should consider doing it so that's what i'm doing but let's get into the original video and, and let's see what has changed it's gonna be really interesting i don't know what to expect <gasps> oh, hi there youtube i'm back again today for another kickstart in all of games that is all right so uh that was the original image let's take a look at the image now so focus in a little bit more on the minis, yeah, definitely focusing on the minis. I think that's a good call right there. But let's see what I said. Bon Tam or Bon Tom West, an immersive sim adventure board game for two to four players set in the wild, and I'm assuming the next word is West. So I want to give them a shout out right now. I feel like this is a great use of space right here. An immersive sim adventure board game. I know what I'm getting into here. I know there's not going to be a solo experience. This uh, funded fully in less than one hour. No one cares. That's Still don't care, but it's smaller. <laughs> and then we got a lot of text. Early backer exclusives. Only for the first 48 hours, the home of the range pledge. Get rid of it. Awesome. Will receive a free dead settler's map. Wow, that's really cool. And then text that I cannot read. Uh, and, and, yeah, so that I, I would recommend getting rid of the text that you can't read. I feel like that's uh, also now live on Kickstarter. We know, but it's already raised $153,000. So one thing I do notice is that they're spotlighting the fact that they're pa uh, manufacturing the Panda GM which I think is great, uh, and game trays on the inside, even though, uh, luckily, I think most people know the game trays logo, but it is kind of hard to see from the outside right there. So, oh, and they also mentioned, they added a shipping section as well, and then this planet symbol, which was not there before. Okay. So let's get into this. But I would like to see what a is the planet symbol? Like because, like, yes, now that we're here at the main image... All right. I can read also, so it was at $153,000, and this is what I always tell you about. There's a huge lull in the middle of a Kickstarter. Normally, it's boom, you launch off, and then it just kind of spikes, and then it teeters along. Uh, you know, you'll get thousands of dollars, you know, every month, every week, but you're not going to have, like, these huge, massive spikes most of the time. So $53,000 raised in uh, July 14th, so almost a month. Okay. So they had a really good launch, though, so that's awesome. Uh, so, let's go back to what I was saying. This is weird. I do apologize. <laughs> this is my first time doing this segment. And my mouse is stupid. It's very simple to read, but you got to realize most people aren't going to be looking at this image at this yes. size. Because when you go to this page, what do you do? You click on the you click on the link. You're actually going to watch the video. So you need to make it so that people can Bottom see it from planet. the Kickstarter popularity charts out there. Uh, you take from the clutches of a dead settler a map of the area littered with tips, tricks, and survival techniques that will give you a cutting edge. Ooh, that actually, yeah, I would... I don't imagine totally the video has changed. Anyway, yeah. So I don't imagine the video has changed, but we'll double check. They did like a very video game-esque. It felt like Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. And I didn't think they would change that for sure, because that was so... Like, that had to cost them a good deal of money to make. And I don't remember what I thought about it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm here to see what's new. All right. What's new? So here we go. Cool, though, that I get it if I'm backing, like, right now. Phantom West, the death film from... All right, so they had the 48-hour thing, which hopefully is completely gone because they can't get it now. And wow, so immediately I see a huge change from just text that I have to read to a picture of... Phantom West is a Kickstarter exclusive backers of this weapon campaign. We're the only ones to have all the niceties deluxe. And once again, this is kind of, the text is a bit tiny. I don't know if it's just my, my old eyes. Is it my old eyes? Uh, no, I can read a little bit better. But I had to zoom in. What's this? What percentage am I at? I don't remember. Uh, will this be the only to have all the niceties deluxe marble deluxe silk screen wooden resource tokens at no additional cost to Kickstarter backers? So they're spotlighting the fear of missing out. Awesome. The Dead Settlers map, free to 48 hour backers and exclusive to this campaign in pledge manager okay and i like that they've mentioned this a lot of people wouldn't mention this a lot of people just say don't mention anything if they can't get it and the, you mention it i like how they handled that <clears throat> it clears up any confusion 80 silk screen wooden resource token marble dice all posses all poses only available <clears throat> all poses only available to this campaign 
read all the text. But the thing that I'm seeing here is I immensely Frontier like that main image. Total freedom to those who are taught enough to survive its perils. To thrive out here, you must walk the raver's edge between good. And okay, and so do they have the player count? Hopefully next. That's the one thing I am noticing. Uh, where's the player count? And then here we go. So we added something new on top. Awesome. It's because we're getting right down to the player count. To all those who pledge home on the range or above, before the campaign ends at 9 a.m., we are honoring you with the title of Gallo Springs Pioneer. Without the Gallo Springs Pioneers, this town could not look the same. Thank you for marking your, uh, making your mark on the, 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 the... Pioneers will have their name carved into the Bontem history next to ours on the website, and you'll receive free, exclusive future benefits. So I do like that, because essentially what that's saying is, if you back us on Kickstarter, you are going to be uh, exclusive. For You're going to be a premium member when you come to our next Kickstarter. I think that's wise. I think that's how you build brand loyalty. Evil, use everything at your disposal and do whatever it takes to carve your own path and come pull on these. I've been loving doing these polls. But what do you think when you see someone say that there's that many game modes? All right. So then we get next, and I'm mostly trying to focus on what's different between the Kickstarter page, not what I'm saying. Uh, but then we see this long scrolling shot and I'm going to guess this is the same. So, yes. Working with the best high-quality, long lasting components, the esteemed Panda Game Manufacturer will manufacture your copy of Bantam West. And dang it, that is awesome. Because, once again, uh, first created... Oh, did I check? Let me let me double check here. Did I check in here looking at your, your first created zero back? Yes, I did. Let's see if anything right. changed here. Uh, so, we do have one collaborator. Okay, so we should have... And we click on that, Bantam Planet. So, I think... This looks solid. I don't have an issue with this. It looks like... Oh, we have another collaborator. Oh, awesome. Two collaborators. Love it. Love it. Uh, okay. Psh, working with the best. And I do love that as well. Spotlighting that. Awesome. So let's get back to here. Because once again, you're a first-time game designer. Little things like that. You know, mentioning Panda GM. Uh, me seeing collaborators on this project. It's not you completely undertaking it by yourself. Uh, even though it wasn't the first time. All right. So what do we got here? This is the game mechanics. So next we got into the game mechanics. So now we have an overview. Excellent. I think that's a much smart... I feel like that's a better choice. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. But I feel... Yeah. So let's see. This is game mechanics. This is giving you... you choose whether to use Red Cliff Coffee or Green Tail Tobacco. Be a game for you. We need some more gameplay videos and stuff like that. But still, I feel like... Okay. That and then we have a picture of people playing. So this time, overview plays one of four strangers <clears throat> with varied goals, abilities... And, oh, I do want to mention... I should have mentioned this right at the beginning. I do have a uh, relationship with the creators of this kind of but it's not so i did the kickstarter video they liked the kickstarter video then they said hey uh we're gonna pay you to take a look at our rule booklet so i looked at the rule booklet it's one of my fiverr things i got my fiverr down below if you're interested uh but that that's where it ends if this totally sucked i'd say hey this totally sucks because that's that would be the honest truth but this clearly does not totally suck uh thousands of individual actions to take daily what will you do that's exciting like getting me sandbox feeling whereas Going back to here, when you talk about mechanics, you know, that's that's good too, but it's like, I really, but they do mention, yeah, I like this a little bit better, I think. Uh, that looks cool. The level of detail is outstanding. This is one of those rare gems that will hopefully take the gaming world by storm, and I like that quote. Uh, it doesn't have as much details as I like, but we all have those games. We all have those games in our collections. We're like, man, why didn't that game get more popular? What expansions for that game? Because it's so great. So I, I, I like that quote. All right, so what what did we have next on this one? And management. Okay, now we're really digging. Overview. Play as one of four strangers. Oh. With varied goals, abilities, and personality. All right, so that was the original one. And, I yeah, I think this shot looks better than that shot. Definitely. Definitely. Excellent choice right there. Personalities as they make a name for themselves in the frontier town of Gallic Springs. Also, you know, if you're going to start going into the components and, and all the stuff, just give me a price. Purchase unique equipment. Do we have a price yet? Is there a price? No, still not a price. Okay. I could dream. <laughs> uh, all right. So, purchase unique equipments and weapons. Oh, wow. Was this here before? Oh, my gosh. That is That had to have been there before. That looks really good. And weapons that can be used. Cultivate the land. Oh, wow. And make the wilderness your home by strategically building and placing cats. It's just a, it's a labor of love. There's like 7,000 million cards in that game. Definitely check that one out if you're into uh, sandbox exploration style games. Watch the games over. Okay, so. Okay. Definitely check that. I'm hoping some of these sections are still there because, uh, these, wow, that looks really good. Was that there before? I feel like, I feel like maybe they went back to the drawing board with a lot of it because I don't remember... The, the quotes seamlessly interweave. Going out here into uh, sandbox exploration style games. Watch the games overview and pros plus cons videos. Uh, the degree of world building. Wow. 
there was a lot of of like change here this is i see why people were commenting you should at least go check this out because they they did it a lot of different like this looks like a different kickstarter page almost and i think it looks really appealing 60 event cards and look at that spotlighting the event cards right there i want to know what this event card is it has its own unique artwork this is great like typically when you think of an event card you think it rained yesterday plus two to crop growth it's like okay that's what I think about when I think about there was a bear minus two health minus two food. This is this is good. This is great. Spotlighting. This is a game that is doing some really incredible things when it comes to open world storytelling adventure. I think there's going to be an audience of people that are going to be obsessed with this when it arrives. Awesome quote. Uh, Cultivate the land. Make the wilderness your home by strategically. And I don't remember all these moving pictures. I got to I got to zoom in here. I, I need to Richard this and watch it at a faster speed. God, my mouse is so bad. Uh, featuring five game modes, including, I thought we had six plus, but okay. A warm welcome, home on the range, the hand you're dealt. Shout out, these don't, these, these words mean nothing to me. Okay. There's five, so there's five game modes. Uh, but I could have sworn, didn't say six. Like, I could have sworn it said six. Like, was it right here? Six? Yeah, six game modes. Oh my gosh, that's oh, terrifying. Oh, I wonder if we could unlock another one, guys. Ah! Oh, God, stop it. Okay. I can't handle myself at two hours of speed. After release, we'll occasionally publish new game modes to download and print free on our website. I talk fast. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I don't. I, I One point five. Like I think that's really cool. I've heard other games say they're going to do similar things like that, and I don't believe they followed up on it. I could be wrong. I've heard people saying like, "Oh yeah, after it launches, we're going to release like files to do this and do that." And a lot Ooh. of times, when the game isn't as popular. As this looks really good. Happen. I'm not going to say that's not going to happen, but it's you know, it might not happen. <laughs> uh, but luckily, this thing is hundred thousand dollars funded, so hopefully that will not be the case. Two are Gallery Springs. Alright, uh, so then we finally get to the pledge levels. See, I, I just kind of want to spotlight some of the things they did differently. So we do get to the pledge levels. Let's see how they look down here. Oh, and here's, yeah, and this is what I was saying. I really, I think they added this, or they 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 took what they had before, but then, then dolled it up. And I think, like, that one looks very familiar, uh, but they look really good. Like, this looks great. Okay. Uh, fight for the survival, fight other players and NPCs, and then we get down to what we saw right at the beginning, to have what it takes, and then we have the pledge levels. Okay. Uh, join the ever-expanding world of Bonton, and look at this. Look at which of these $97 pledge levels do you want? Do you want this one? Or do you want this one? And yeah. Awesome. What's in the box? We got the long, sexy scrolling. Stretch goals unlocked. Free upgrade to all cards. Ivory core and finish. And I'm reading that and I'm saying, yes, I'm excited. Cool. I wonder what other stretch goal we have. Oh, we've got a free upgrade to dual layer. That is a banger of a stretch goal. One thing I might recommend here, though, is I don't think everybody knows exactly what a dual layer board is. Like that's so a dual layer board is where um, normally it's just printed on cardboard, so you can just pop it out, right? So, but this one makes it so it's actually attached to it, and there's two layers, and that's that's one of those games where you can put the cube in, and the cube won't move, and then you can just move it from spot to spot to spot. I don't know why I did it on my hand, but you get what I'm saying here. Uh, but that's awesome. Uh, but I'm curious. I don't. I don't feel like I feel like if you told me that when I first got into the hobby, I say, "Oh, cool, dual layer board." I'd be like, uh, double, "Does that mean double sided?" Uh, so yeah. But that's awesome. I love spotlighting stuff. Three store tiles, two small store tiles. So yeah, that is a really nice looking pledge area. And then it gets to the 150, which I think was the one they wanted you to take. Let's let's keep going. Well, the range, the Bonton West game, all in lock stretch goals. So, so here's my big issue that I have right now. I have no idea what's coming in this box. I have no idea what size the box is, what size the board is. Hopefully it's after the pledge yep. levels. But if, if they just flat out did not put it there, like that. Let's see, $1, so we got 179 people, 97, we got 477. So there's like next to no, oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, they had them all underneath. I don't know, it just, it just makes it a little bit more appealing when I'm shopping, I think. Because yeah, now I so, look, so let's look at the Shadows Governor Pledge. Let's check and see that image versus what they have. And look at this, oh my goodness, yeah, this is great. So much prettier. Uh, two to two rule booklets, and I have read uh, the Standard Field Manual. So if the Standard Field Manual sucks, you can put that one on me, because I... I, I I gave my um, my opinion on, on, on what it was, and I do remember uh, it looks like a really cool game. I have not checked out the advanced tech one. Uh, the Frontier looks even more. So this is the Shadows Governor. So once again, let's compare the, the shopping experience. This, not zoomed in, versus, look at that, I want this house, I want this. Now granted, these, things, these are things that might have got unlocked, but that's still, like, oh my goodness. So the Frontier, so the Shadows Governor includes Home on the Range plus All Unlocked. The Shadows Governor Pledge comes with the following add-ons. So, Metal Coin, Terrain Upgrade Pack, and yeah, spotlighting those. Oh my gosh. That, that adds a whole level of theme to this game. 
which, you know, is a storytelling sandbox adventure, which is what you want. That's great. That is awesome. Woo! Uh, upgrade first player token. And that's almost one of those reasons why I like GameFound better. Because I know you want to spotlight that main game, which is the most popular, I do believe. 520. But, like, these... So, oh, no, it's 945. Ooh, let's go check out the breakdown before. I'm very interested to see how that is. To see let's how see that has changed. Terrain upgrade pack. And here's what I was talking about also with, with zooming. I feel like you really need to zoom into your components. Like, I see this, and I want, I want to know, like, what, so what's this look like? Oh, my gosh. Like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Terrain upgrade pack. Let's look at it from before. Yeah. Like, that... <laughs> that versus that like that's hot so yeah like totally Woo! excellent excellent change there it's it's kind of like a house for monopoly but is there there's like details it looks like a cross or something i can't see it because you didn't zoom into it zoom into these components especially if it's a 90 uh no like i don't think that's that's i just i'm imagining most people backing this are just like oh yeah nothing like okay uh, so i like how they're doing that let's, like see the, let's see how the let's see how the pledge levels are broken down well enough, but let's see uh i'm gonna check Let's see, $1, so we got 179 people, 97, we got 400. Oh, you're talking too fast now. Okay, <laughs> take it. All right, so right now, the $1, it was at 95 before. Now, let's see. Those are And those are a lot of times are people who are on the fence. 663, wow. So those are people, I'm assuming, who are on the fence, which means this, they're, oh, wow, okay, that's that's interesting. Uh, $97, home on the range. We have 520 backers now. Let's see what it was before. 77, and then no, 631. People... Six, oh, oh, so the Shatter's governor had 631. Dang it, now I'm talking too stupid fast. They get the, this, these promo cards, this extra little mechanism or something like that. Uh, so I like how they're doing that. I feel like this is going to be the most popular play level just because they didn't advertise this well enough. But, let's see. Uh, I'm going to check. Let's see, $1, so we got 179 people. 97, we got 477. 477. So we've had... 50 new people to the $99 level. So the Shadows Governor, now at 945. And I'm going to slow down myself. <laughs> Seven. And then, no, 631. So, we have had, what was it, 50 more people at the $97 pledge level, which is what you don't want them to get. I mean, it's, it's it looks like it's a cool game, nonetheless. But you want this. And sure enough, we have, what, 300 more people on this one? Wasn't that what it was? People still, they just want all the fancy shinies. Kickstarter is such a weird place. To they be. wanted the fancy shiny because the fancy shinies look hot. But I didn't know that back then. The collector's cache. What is the collector's cache? That is the two copies. Okay. Plus one copy and keep the other in its original package. Play with one copy and keep the other in its original package. Hopefully they don't still say that because that's so weird. Who, who does that? Uh... Upgraded first player token. Cool, this is good stuff. Oh, oh, ooh, game trace. Whoa, three hundred k. Oh wow, um, that's awesome. It, I, I don't believe it's gonna hit that because I think it's around two. But uh, still, very cool. Stretch goal area here. So now, oh, oh, that was weird. Stretch goals were seamlessly interweaved into that pledge level because it's a pledge level. It's an exclusive for that pledge level. That is really interesting. That makes a lot of sense. But at the same time, I don't know if I like it because you want to spotlight those. That's an interesting one. Let me know what you think about that one in the comments down below. Uh, that's interesting. So two copies of it. And yeah, look at look how much more appealing this is. Plus all unlocked, retailers, handshake. And yeah, okay. 350. So yeah, so there was the one big whale is what they wanted everybody to get. And that's what's unlocking stretch goals. And so it's 150. So yeah, so they have gotten more people into the whale, which is what they were hoping for. Uh, but I wonder how many people would have been there right from the jump. Um, we'll never know. Okay. These are these are great stretch goals at every ten thousand. So these are going to be micro stretch goals. These are going to be getting hit pretty frequently, which means people are going to have to come. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, this looks like a really fun game. Don't get me wrong. Uh, and, and to be quite honest, I feel like that's not really a fair complaint. It's just that fall. Last thing I want to do is check the updates because I think I think I've seen like this looks great. I don't I don't need. Oh, wait, did I mention shipping? Do I really? <sighs> I should. I should should. Uh, let's see. Where's the shipping? Oh wait, the new shipping. Oh my gosh, this is so in depth on all these stretch goals. Holy moly. This is this is a great stretch goal section. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness! I I want to take this ride. It sucks. It ends in nineteen hours. That's a great, wow! That's a stretch goal section that I think had it been there at the beginning, like that could have made a, a world of difference. That is that is a really well done stretch goal section. Wish you were here. What is this? Oh, um, 
What is this? Whatever comes first, full localization for that language. This is awesome. This is a really cool grab too. Oh my gosh. I know it's like sacrilegious to say relaunch, but it's like, like, cause you hit 200k and that would be such, that would be such a black eye to do that. But let me know in the comments below if it was your company. And do you think, cause I feel like the changes made here, like this is, this is a different Kickstarter page. Like I see why people were like, you gotta check it out. Because it is, it is so, and, and I think their shipping section actually was uh, decent back then. And we get the videos, uh, the rule booklet, field manual, and we have the advanced, awesome, excellent. Listen to what this wonderful community has to say. Play testers, tons of quotes, add-ons. Oh my goodness, this thing goes on for a while. <laughs> Puerto Rico gets it better than Alaska and Hawaii. <laughs> okay, uh, Army Post Office Canada, $14. Oh, UK, good for you. Uh, Asia, dang, really good for you. Okay. I guess they're just shipping those straight out. And I, I thought okay. their shipping section was uh, decent it really before. Does not include the selling point here. I just want to check out the updates. Let's get to the updates. As I'm always very curious about the updates. I think that is one of the biggest no-brainers out there when I say you should always end with a question. I feel like that should just be the industry standard until people just get sick and tired of people getting asked questions, which I don't think will happen if you're willing to invest $150 into a game. But... Let's check out updates, FAQ, FAQ, okay, updates, let's go. So where were we update-wise here? No, I, I just can't, like, that's, that's so high. Cool. And once again, is that where the, the value in the game is coming right there? Is that where the expense in the game is coming right there? Because if that is the case, and it's because you're doing all the... I don't know what I'm talking about, I just want to get to the updates. That's what intrigues me. Eight comments. Right, so is that where the, the value in the game is coming right there? Is that where the expense in the game is coming right there? Because if that is the case, Dude. and it's because Six, you're doing four, all these five, crazy 11, large 14, boards, you four, need to do a better job four, of showcasing those to me. Because like I said, you waiting updates, to show but it's the, a, it's the a project is ending. all the way at the bottom. Like, who does that? Here we go. Like, go look at like 9 out of 10, nine, probably 19 out of 20 other Come on, stop ranting. I want to see how many people damn game. updated it. Can you believe it? Over nine hundred ninety seventy-five citizen men's are coming together with. So that is the one. That is the one thing I will say. I don't feel like what I'm saying. Once again, you are twentieth right now on the Kickstarter popularity, and I feel like not asking questions, or maybe you did. Let's double check, because I'm pretty sure I guarantee I asked. I guarantee. It's an unreasonable thing. We're running a contest giveaway for the next few days. Don't worry, a large graphic will be added on the top of our Kickstarter page by tomorrow morning with a hyperlink to the BGG thread, and we are hosting it. So right now, uh, they're trying to get on the top of the popularity on the hotness chart, because that, you know, and I imagine Quackle probably tell them that too, because that's, that's, I mean, that's what you do. He knows how to work the system. He knows how to game the game, because you get yourself on top of that hotness, woo, you're going to have a whole huge wave of people coming from BGG. Now I want it back at two-time speed. Charge market. Already watched, liked, and commented on Quack's video. I'm so much triggered by your game. Pretty sure there's a hidden gem here. Okay, and I do see uh, responding in the customer service, which is great. Still, I would always recommend asking a question in here uh, because, you know. I and that's, it's so important. It really is so important. So seven comments, then we got 12 comments. I don't think they've asked a question. Uh, enjoy this little video. If you're everybody, go check out some real professionals, three new YouTubes. We'll talk. And so, yeah, no questions and 12 comments. Uh, let's see. There was one that did dip in, I think, 20 or 30. Let's see if that one ended with a question. Because that's the other big thing. And it's super important. Because you got to realize, at 20th, it's going to be... How many... Do you scroll down past 20 games? Do you scroll to the 20th game? Do you... How far How far do you scroll down on Kickstarter? Um, it's a really interesting question. And so I think it's just more likely to get popularity. Because this Kickstarter... Wow. It's, it's a... Oh, 72. I'm going to guess this is it. Right here. Did they ask a question? Gather around. Today's a historic moment in the grand opening of the Nomad's Voyage. Mm. Stuff. Uh, don't want this Kickstarter email sent to you. Stuff, so we care on you. All right, now that you have tickets, let me walk you through our first destination. Well, this is, wow, this is spectacular. This is great. This is, wow, there's so much stuff here. This is a lot. These, these updates, holy moly, they are just so much. Are you excited for this journey? Submit your picture to claim your seat. Uh, so, what, so what are people? I'm so excited for the game. I have to say I'm impressed by the implementation of the Nomad's Voyage. Neat idea. Keep up the great work. Looks so interesting. Lost me on solo mode. Uh, they say Bridge of Dome. So I will give them... You know what? I'm going to give them a huge kudos here. Because 
this is very rare. I don't think I have seen more than a handful of updates like this update right here that legitimately, without asking a question, got this many comments this deep into the Kickstarter process. Those things, because this is update number seven. This is not update number one where it was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you rock, blah, blah, blah. This is a couple days in. You know, this is the this is the first, this is after the first few months of your relationship where things start getting real. And you still got 50 plus comments on that update. That is a spectacular update. Just, I don't even have to read it. I know it's spectacular. You did something unique and different in there. And whatever you did unique and different in there, you need to take note. That is awesome, and you should be doing that on your next campaign as well. Also, the other thing is, you mentioned Band of Planet. I still don't know what that is. Now, granted, I did not go through this particular Kickstarter with a fine-tube comb, because that's not what this segment is. It's mostly just checking out what's new about the Kickstarter. But does that mean that there's going to be a world, that there'll be other Bontum games that will connect with this one? I don't know, but let's see. So, yeah, 72. Just legit 72. That is a spectacular update. That might be one of the best updates I've seen. But... I believe you could have easily got 72 by asking a question. Because I don't... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, 59 here. Here we go. 50, here we go. 59. So we had two in the middle where they just crushed. Let's see what the 59 one was. Let's go. Do to do Two down from the halfway point. Now onto the media stuff. An immersive sim. So what is this? Bottom West gameplay videos. Awesome. I'd love you to know your favorite... Oh, I'd love to know your favorite Western films in the comments down below. Looky there. Looky there. That's what I'm saying. Now, you got 70-something by making a legitimately just different, unique. And that, that right there is something I need to spotlight on Kickstarter Critiques right there. How much time and effort was put into that update was a lot. And it showed. And people rewarded you with comments, which tickle the Kickstarter algorithm and bump you up higher in the popularity chart. But how hard was this one, which got, granted, 20 left. It got 20 less, but still, 53 comments is more than you're going to see on most projects. Period. Let's, and let's, you know, I say stuff like this, let's put my feet to the fire, baby. Uh, wait, let's, let's go, wait, how do I, how do I get, no, no, I, I, I clicked, I was so confident, and now I'm so unconfident, because I clicked on the wrong thing, <laughs> All right, because I'm going to look at Avatar, and we're going to see how Avatar's comments game is, do they have 53 comments, because they have like a billion dollars right now, not, it's hyperbole, it's like three million, but still, that's a lot of cash, like that's, that's so much on a Kickstarter, you're just like, maybe I just skip the country, yeah, four million Let's check out these updates. Now, I did recommend they do some, the, some but, but I want to show you just how good 53 is. So 40, 39, 13, 35, 13, 7. This has millions of dollars. 39,000 backers. That is how important asking questions is in your comments right there. And that's and th this is what I'm getting to. Every So you had, Bontem West had... Two, two updates that just sh shined. They sparkle. One, because you did just an absolutely spectacular... You cannot ignore this update. It's so damn good. People need to comment on an update. Which is tons and tons and tons of work. And as your reward, you got all those comments which helped keep you at the 20 spot. You know, because that's still way higher than a lot. Because there's hundreds below you. The second one, though, got you 53. And all you did was just... What's your favorite Western movie? And then, you know, I'm sure you responded to whatever they said. But that one, just asking that one, got you more comments than this project, which has $39,000. And if you take away anything from any of my videos, just, dear God, ask questions of your backers. It's so easy. And, and it's just... How many people you got here? You got uh, 1,300? Okay. I'm off the soapbox now. Like that. It's just... All right, so I guess I don't know how to, how to end this video. It's such a weird anomaly of a video. I don't even remember what I called it. But there is Bonham West, and it's uh, it's I, th I feel like they made some spectacular choices, to changes to the Kickstarter, but I I, I just... Uh, I just... I, w I wonder about the updates. I feel like the updates. You know, because here's the bottom line. That Kickstarter was awesome. Like, that new Kickstarter with... And before, I thought it was still, like, a really cool-looking game. And it's just, why is it at 20th? Why is it 20th on the popularity chart? And you got to look at the behind-the-scenes algorithms. And so, 
still cool raised nearly 200k that is awesome i hope to one day check out the game but that is bottom west kickstarter you got like you got a couple hours if you still want to check it out if not i'm sure you could probably still get to the pledge manager i mean they open that thing for like a freaking year sometime uh so check that out it looks like it might be your cup of tea be sure to tell them power set you and as always if you enjoy this crazy kind of stuff that i do please consider supporting the patreon i, I just unlocked a one dollar pledge level which i don't know why i had someone like kind of opened my eyes and they were like hey you know two dollars you know I, I think twice about it and, and here's the thing i I say that as well. Like when I go to a thank you pledge, it's like, why do I have to pay more than a dollar to thank you? And I'm like, why do I have to pay more of a dollar than to support Bowers Game Corner? And that was such a stupid. It was dumb. And now I have learned. But anywho, uh, you can clearly tell I don't know how to wrap up this style of video because it's my first one. So I'm just going to click this button. Goodbye. <laughs>